Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your very own Raspberry Pi torrent box. This is great if you torrent a lot and would love to have a low power dedicated machine for torrenting. I'm doing this tutorial on Raspbian, so if you haven't already installed it, you can follow my guide on how to here. Also in this tutorial, I'm using an external drive that is acting as a NAS, network attached storage. If you want to learn how to do this, you can check out my guide right here. So firstly, let's bring the Pi up to the latest version of Raspbian by entering sudo apt get update. Once that is done, run the following sudo apt get upgrade. Now the torrent package we'll be using is called transmission. So now let's install the transmission package by entering the following command. sudo apt get install transmission dash daemon. Now that's installed, we will need to make a couple of folders to store our downloads in. You can keep them as a default if you're happy for the downloads to be stored on the SD card. However, in my case, I'm going to be storing it on a mounted external drive. To make the folders, enter sudo mkdir-p slash media slash nashdd1 slash torrent dash in progress. For the in progress downloads, and then sudo mkdir-p slash media slash nashdd1 slash torrent dash complete for the completed downloads. Now let's update the transmission default settings. Open the settings file by entering the following command. sudo nano slash etc slash transmission daemon slash settings dot json. Update the download dir to our new directory. Update incomplete dir to our new directory. Turn incomplete dir on so that our files are stored in the right places. Update RPC password to the password you want to use. This is for the web UI. And update the RPC username also. RPC whitelist is the IP address that we will be allowed to connect. In my case, I just want it available on the local network. So 192.168. star point star is fine. Now exit and save by pressing Ctrl X then Y. Now you want to reload transmission so it saves our new settings. You can do this by entering the following sudo service transmission daemon reload okay if you're not changing the default directories of a user transmission is running as then you're good to go just head to the pi's ip address with port 9091 and you'll get the web page of the torrent client let's take a look at the folders we just created as you can see they're owned by pi my life up so we need to update transmission to run as this user otherwise you'll get permission errors this process is pretty easy and won't take very long to do. Before we make the next changes, we need to stop transmission. To do this, enter sudo service transmission daemon stop. Now let's edit the transmission init file so it runs as our new user. To do this, enter the following command sudo nano slash edc slash init.d slash transmission dash daemon. In here, update the user with the relevant user. In my case, it's PyMyLifeUp. This user should match the permissions that are applied to the folder you will be storing the uh, downloaded torrents in. We will need to chown some files as we are no longer the default user. We need to update the permissions so they are correct. Enter the following commands. sudo chown dash r PyMyLifeUp Pi my life up slash etc slash transmission daemon slash settings dot json sudo ch own dash capital r pi my life up pi my life up slash etc init dot d slash transmission daemon sudo ch own dash r pi my life up pi my life up slash far slash lives transmission daemon now bring the service back up by entering the following command sudo service transmission daemon start. It should start with no errors or warnings. 
If you need the PI address, run hostname dash capital I. Now in a browser, head over to the PI's IP address with the port 9091. In my case, this is 192.168.1.112.9091. Now you will need to log in with the username and password we set in the settings file earlier. Now this is the transmission UI, in here you can update settings, add and remove torrents and much more. I will just show you how to add both a torrent file and a magnet link. Let's go to raspberrypi.org and get the torrent link. Simply copy it and now paste in here. See how it ends with a .torrent, this means it's a torrent file. Transmission will download the torrent file and then begin to download your file. If you want to see a magnet link, let's check out Buck Bunny for an example. Copy the magnet link from here. And again, just simply paste it into this field. See how it starts with magnet? This means it's a magnet link. Now you can see that the torrents that we are currently downloading are in our in progress folder. If we skip ahead until they are finished, then you can clearly see that they are now in the complete folder. That's all I have for today. If you like the tutorial, please let me know your thoughts below or at pymylifeup.com. Looking for something new to do? Check out these awesome 21 Raspberry Pi projects that anyone can do. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.